Welcome to Old Testament class number six, the first family, the murder of Abel by Cain, and the generations of Cain and Seth, taken from Genesis chapter four to chapter six. We don't know for how long the first people enjoyed in paradise, but obviously it was not for, for long. After their expulsion from Eden, the history of mankind begins. It is divided into two eras, before the incarnation of the Son of God and after. The era before Christ, according to the Septuagint, has 5,508 years and includes two periods separated by the largest natural disaster, the Great Flood, in the year 2262, from the creation of the world, or 3, 000, year 3247 BC, from the Jewish Masoretic Bible and its translations have a different timeline, because in that text changes were made by rabbis in the second century AD. Although the antediluvian, that's after the flood history, spans more than two millennium, the Bible speaks of it briefly in three chapters. After the expulsion from paradise, Adam and Eve had children. Eve named the firstborn Cain, which means acquisition or from God. Adam and Eve probably hoped that Cain would be the promised redeemer, but their hope was void, realizing that they named their second son Abel, which means mist. The sons grew up and began to help their father. Cain began to cultivate the land, and Abel was engaging in cattle breeding. One day, Cain and Abel offered a sacrifice to God. Cain sacrificed the fruits of the earth, and Abel sacrificed the firstborn ram from his flock. But Abel offered the sacrifice with faith in the promised Savior and piously, while Cain did it without faith, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4. The sacrifice of Abel was accepted by God, and the sacrifice of Cain was rejected. Cain was overcome with jealousy, as well as once, as once did Lucifer in heaven. He is the firstborn, and he is not favored. Wow. The merciful God warned him, Be still. Sin draws you to itself, but you rule over it. But Cain did not listen. Calling his brother into the field, he killed him. The Lord tried to bring him back to repentance, asking, Where is Abel, your brother? But like Adam, Cain answered boldly, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord pronounced a sentence on him. You are cursed from the earth, and you will be a wanderer on earth. Cain trembled, not from remorse, but from fear that he would be avenged for the death of his brother. But the Lord forbade to revenge him in a hope that he would repent, as Adam did. And Cain and his wife left their parents for another land. Now, Adam and Eve, as well as their descendants, had other children in addition to those mentioned in the Bible. Thus, Cain's wife was his sister. Incest was not prohibited before the flood because God blessed people to fill the earth. The marriages of close relatives were safe from for offspring because genetic mutations did not develop before the flood. The reason for this was the Earth's atmosphere. It, like a real firmament, 
was so dense that people did not see the blue sky and the rainbow until the flood. The greenhouse effect provided a tropical climate on the entire planet. The water in the atmosphere <coughs> did not let through the hard cosmic radiation that destroys DNA. Therefore, until most of that water poured out on the earth during the flood, people and animals lived for a very long time, and reptiles that grow all their lives reached gigantic sizes. For example, Adam lived 930 years, Seth 912, Noah 950 years. For the same reason, the antediluvian fossils lack radioactive carbon-14 because it is the cosmic radiation that transforms nitrogen-14 to carbon-14. And evolutionary scientists referring to this lack of carbon-14 attribute the fossils to millions of years. Very interesting. After leaving Adam's family, the cursed Cain was obsessed with fear and built the first city, a village fenced with protective wall, which he named after his firstborn, Enoch. The generation of Cain began to increase. In the struggle with nature, the descendants of Cain learned to extract copper and iron and make tools from them. Being carried away by material well-being, the Canaanites did, the Cainites did not care about the spiritual life and fell into countless vices. This direction of civilization was a dead end path. A counterbalance appeared in the generation of Adam's new son, Seth, who was born after the murder of Abel. This generation was more spiritual and they began to call upon the name of the Lord God. This does not mean that before there were no prayers in use, but that the calling of the name of the Lord became a confession of their faith. The Bible calls the Sethites the sons of God in contrast to the generation of the Cainites, who for their godlessness began to be called the sons of men. The most pious of the Sethites was Enoch, who was well-pleasing to God. He was the first preacher and prophet who announced the terrible coming judgment of God on the ungodly. Look at Jude chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. As a reward for this high piety and fervent faith, the Lord took him alive from the sinful earth Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5. Amazing. However, even the generation of Seth could not resist falling into grave sins. So finally, only one family of Noah was pleasing to God. And the Bible gives his genealogy. Tradition venerates Noah's ancestors as antediluvian patriarchs who preserved the right faith and moral principles. So ends our sixth class of the Old Testament. God bless you. See you next time.